Hey guys, I'm really excited for this video today. Today we'll be making some aloo parantas. Our paranta bread which will be stuffed with a nice potato filling. This is an absolute favorite and a favorite brunch item in my family. So come, let's get started right now. So first heat up your pan on medium heat and now we're gonna add in some oil. Get that nice and hot. I'm just gonna use some olive oil today. And when that oil is hot, we're gonna crackle in some cumin seeds. It always adds so much flavor. Just love the flavor of cumin. It really is an integral part of Indian cooking. So once that is nice and hot, reddish brown, add in your ginger and your finely chopped chilies. Now you can adjust this to your taste, to your preferences. If you like it spicy, I suggest go to about four to five chilies. Keep it mild by using just one or two. You can even de-seed the chilies to really reduce the heat. So now once the rawness of the ginger is cooked out, turn the heat down to low. So now add in some ground cumin, ground coriander, a touch of turmeric, garam masala, red chili powder, fennel powder and finally some mango powder. Give this a nice mix. You see the turmeric just working its magic, staining it yellow. That's flavor and it makes the potato mix really vibrant. So now just add in your potatoes in here. I boil these in a pressure cooker. I find that really convenient. You can just Put the whole potato in and it cooks in like a matter of minutes. It's really fast and convenient. It get it does get a bit loud though. You give this a mix. Now season your potatoes with some salt. Let's give it a quick taste. Mix it up. A little bit more salt. Turn off the heat. Now finish this with some roughly chopped cilantro. From that mango and the fennel powder, it already has this nice zinginess, a nice freshness. And the cilantro is just gonna lift that even more. So now we're gonna make the dough and I'm gonna be using some atta flour. Now this flour is usually used to make rotis or parantas. It's a kind of whole wheat flour and it's really delicious. But today I'm just gonna be using about a half a cup of my atta. A touch of ghee. And I'm just gonna attach my dough hook for my KitchenAid here. And knead this into a smooth and pliable dough. Now if the dough is too wet, just add in a bit more flour until it firms up. So the dough is perfect now. Just tuck it into a nice ball. And now just put this in a bowl and cover it with a damp paper towel or a cloth and let this just sit and relax for 15 minutes. Now once your dough has rested, break these into smaller balls. They don't have to be perfect. So take one ball and just roll it out into a thick disc. So once it's about yay thick, add in some of your potatoes. Sort of seal this. Kind of like making samosas. Just seal this and roll it up again. And now we're going to roll it out again. Just try to be gentle now since you don't want your potatoes to completely tear out and your pastry to tear. That little hole is perfectly fine since what, once that hits the pan with the nice key, with the hot pan, it's gonna make it really nice, crispy and crunchy. So that's it for the rolling and the shaping part. So now get a pan nice and hot. Today I'll be using this tawa pan and this is really nice to make some delicious Indian breads. The speciality of this pan is it's meant to be smoking hot and that gives the rotis or parantas or any other Indian bread 
It's amazing flavor. And now once your pan is nice and hot, take your paranta and lay it on your pan. Are we gonna cook this on the underside and then flip it and add some ghee to really make it nice, flavorful and crispy. So now flip your paranta. And so you have these nice brown marks. And now just start brushing this with some ghee on top and on the sides here. That oil is really gonna help make this light, fluffy and airy. Now that simply looks delicious. Now do the same with the rest of your parantas. So that's it for the parantas guys. Can't wait to dig into this. I haven't had it in ages and this smells amazing. I usually like having this with some ketchup, butter, or even some chutneys. Let me know what you like to have your aloo parantas with or what did you try in the comments down below. You can subscribe by clicking the link right over here. Leave a like and a comment down below, it really helps out. And don't forget to click the bell icon down below to get notified when I get new videos on my channel. Until then, I'll see you guys again on the next one.